to try and create uh, a situation where we could get key messages out to the ordinary members of the, of the public. We're able to recruit people onto courses and onto the various services that are provided um, around health, uh, things like um, the, the size down program, the expert patient, chronic disease, walk to health initiatives and other facilitated health programs. We also get a lot of volunteers um, offering to sign up and uh, develop their own skills. And we also meet, uh, as we have done today, lots of people who, want, who are community leaders and want to put on something similar at events that they're doing or for community groups that they're responsible for. Um, we try and make it so that it's quality, Everything that we say is, is evidence-based and it's in line with sort of national guidelines. It's innovative. We try and put on lots of activities to attract people and sort of to gauge their interests. It's productive and that we get a lot of footfall, a lot of interest, lots of crowds building up around us. And it's also preventative. Everything that we're doing is trying to prevent people from either becoming ill in the first place or developing some of the chronic diseases that we're experiencing on a social sort of national level stop that in the first place or if they've already got some sort of condition to try and thwart it hold it where it is or try and reverse it if we can and that's talking about cigarettes and smoking so it's the people smoking um, long term can end up with something called COPD so their lung just just sort of packs in basically that's what that's showing there and pork and pork can do it, yeah. yeah pork, pork, can, pork, pork can basically clog up your arteries. So you see that one's going nice and freely. Yeah. If, you, if you're getting the wrong foods into you, not getting enough exercise, smoking, yeah. you could end up with your arteries being clogged up so your blood doesn't flow. It's good. Yeah, it happens a little by little. I'll show you how it happens. If you notice here, there's a little model, okay? And this model is showing us the little tubes that go around our body. The little tubes. What are they called? Veins, yeah? What else? Arteries, excellent, well done. So these arteries that go around our body and they carry blood. Now if you look at this one here, on the left, can you see how the blood goes through that very easily? No problems. So if that's going around our body, and it's going to our heart, our heart will be nice and healthy in Charlotte. It starts to get clogged up. Can you see how it's getting clogged up little by little? It just goes little by little and it gets thicker and thicker and eventually Instead of having a nice open tube like this that carries blood around to our bodies and our heart. Okay. Can you know we like the lion in the Yeah, I mean, I've been quite impressed today with the level of interest in this stand. Uh, mainly people sort of inquiring about smoking, um, the harms of smoking, um, and also particularly shisha, and how a lot of people, I think particularly young people, um, that didn't realize the harms of smoking shisha and how many times, about five times worse than smoking, you know, normal uh, cigarettes. Um, other people um, inquiring about diet, um, and also about the, the health of their arteries and how to sort of keep it in good health 
um, and also of course what uh, leads to ill health of your arteries, your heart. Um, and yeah, people have just been filling out questionnaires, um, taking leaflets, asking questions about the honey, benefits of honey, the uh, cedar vinegar and things like that. Um, so I'd say those are uh, a few people may be inquiring about quitting smoking um, and th those are the main things really. Right, yeah, so what's interesting about the, um, the honey and the vinegar, the, the honey is 100% uh, raw honey from um, someone in Solihull, a beekeeper, um, so it's local, so for people with allergies, particularly something like hay fever, they suggest to have honey from the locality as the bees themselves may contract some diseases or uh, you know things that humans do as well so to get the honey from the locality what's interesting about the um, cider vinegar as well is that um, it's supposed to be a very good detox for the body but also just even one teaspoon in a glass of water that small uh, can suppress your appetite so some women and young young girls have been inquiring about how to lose weight well that's one very good way and it's a natural way as well